My question is what it is you want again. See. What you haven't realised yet is that I was already one step ahead of you, knowing that you'd follow me. <laughs> You're fucking with the one person I love. And I don't tolerate that. Which means you're going to be the person that's going to have to suffer the consequences. The man I love is over there crossing that river right now. He'll be fine. Even if he falls in, I'll still catch him. Because I'll be done with you in a matter of a minute. I won't kill you. That wouldn't do the favour for me. But it's a warning to stay the hell away from me. Hopefully by the time this wears off, you will have left. Then you won't be coming back to find me, and the animals haven't eaten you alive. But what I've stabbed you with in the stomach is one of the things that can kill vampires. I waited over four years for one of your enemies to tell me that. That there's actually a very, very special oak tree that you can use. And I never knew. But it's one of the rarest to find. See, there's only two of them, I think, around the world. And somehow one of my ancestors, that used to be vampire hunters, left one right at my doorstep. Well, a bit of it. All I had to do is grind it down and burn it in the right way. Make it into a fine powder and use the daggers on you. See, but I did read a little bit more into it. I wanted to make sure there was enough to paralyse you for maybe two days straight, but not enough to actually kill you. And not enough to make you desiccate. So you'll be able to run your kind of in no time. The deal is though that you forget about me. Because if you remember me and come after me, it's not going to be pretty. And I promise you that, it won't be pretty. Because I will not stop. I hope you fucking understand that I'm not going to stop. Because I have this on my side, which could eliminate all of you. I have enough to eliminate your whole tribe. See, that's what you think. That I won't do it. You're fucking wrong. I'm not as scared of you anymore. What my parents done in the past and everything else is all in the past now. But I'm not afraid of you. That's why I'll leave. Because you're not my husband. You're far from it. You're some ungrateful, stuck up little prince who thinks he can get anything he wants the second he yells at mummy and daddy. No. Not on my watch. I told you I would never marry you. You're not my thing. And you're certainly nothing to me. <laughs> and that's why you'll die alone. That's why you can never have me. You'll be centuries alone in this earth. And I'll have my freedom with the one I love. <laughs> Sleep well. And bye. Okay, my love, are you okay? Take my hand. It's easier if you come with me, okay? Tr trust me, okay? Put one foot here. There. Here, and there we go. We're across now. No need to worry. Handle it. I handled them, okay? <laughs> I'd never let anything happen to you, Sally. You're mine. No one else's. I promised you that I loved you and that I'd always be here for you. He shouldn't be coming after us no more, but if he does, I'll show you how to use the weapons. I'll teach you how to be a vampire hunter. Even though I am a vampire, but it's in my legacy. I wouldn't let anything like that go to waste now, would I? No. <laughs> I'm too good at what I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep going at it. You should do the same. But you're my pet now, so no running away. <laughs> Let's go, right? Oh yeah, he only got me a little bit. Only a little bit of blood loss. I'll heal eventually. What? Drink from you? Why? Because it'll heal up faster. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You're 
being on kind of enough. You're not just some blood bag at floor end. Have you ever tried the gift of blood sharing? Oh, vampire blood can be almost intoxicating for humans as for other vampires. I mean, I've tried your blood, but I don't think you've ever had me. Maybe a little bit. That's about that. I'm gonna try. I mean, it's your choice. I don't mind. Here you go. Try that. <laughs> Whoa, easy there. Don't drink too much. It can also be really addictive. And there's the reason I don't want to do it if you want to stay, but. Sometimes it helps take the edge off of anxiety cases, and I really don't want to lose you to the addicted side of it. Right, the candle, the, mm, that's alright, I really can't focus if you're sucking on my hand like that. Um, the cabin is up ahead, so we'll be there soon enough, I suppose. Can we feel pain? Of course we can feel pain, like right now. It hurts, but I don't really phase me, I suppose. I've done enough rituals to figure it out by now. None of it really disappears. <laughs> I mean, you're just what I want. Everything about you. It's the reason you're staying here with me. Oh, well, you're my pet. <laughs> Why else would I let you go? Uh, that would do nothing through me, so you're mine now. You can't go anywhere, you can't run anywhere. All you can do is stay by my side and listen to my every demand. Promise. Okay, maybe just one drink. It's still as good as last time. And look, the, my rib cage is healed up. That's good, I suppose. Uh, I don't want to take too much, you'll end up passing out. And I don't think that's a good thing. But it's still really good. Human blood is honestly really rare to come across these days. That's probably why I didn't find it so fast, honestly. See, you need to basically have the scent of a human to be able to hunt them down. They have not really ever even heard of a human, really. It's rare, basically. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah, we could do a lot of things here. We even still get sick like humans. We're not all that different. We just have more hand stabilities. It's not that big of a deal. Suppose we were just the uh, outcome of when you fuck up multiple things in nature. We're just the better predator compared to you. You're more weak and vulnerable. No offense. I know you are a vampire hunter and you're like taller than me and that, but I'd still have the advantage to pin you down, see. So that's the problem. Anyway, come over here and sit in the bed. You cut your well, you cut your leg and you need to bandage up. No blood should heal most of it. Well, you didn't notice that when you were trying to climb over the first time, you've, well, your leg back right into something. That's the reason I had to come over faster than usual from dealing with him. Well, ma <laughs> well mainly because, well, when you fuck your leg back into an actual tree, st tree stump, you're gonna get hurt. And what you didn't know is that when you get hurt badly, you kinda don't realize that you've been injured. So that's basically what I done. I waited and didn't tell you about it because you would have a panic, and I know you would. Or it would make you go dizzy and collapse at me, and I really couldn't be bothered with that. So I decided to ease the pain by giving you vampire blood. I mean, after all, that would be the one source of a cure in a way. 
It doesn't cure everything, only some things. Anyway, you must be tired. You've been walking for a while now. It's probably best if you get some sleep. Honestly, we'll need to be up early in the morning. No doubt they'll figure out this place within two days. So we'll stay here and rest for a day, and then tomorrow we'll be out, okay? You need to protect yourself more, alright? Please, I don't want to lose you. You're the only thing I have right now. The only thing I'll probably ever have for the next 50 years until you die. What? Why don't I just turn you? Why would I do that? That did me no favours. It's complicated. Just sleep and we'll talk about this another time, alright? Good night. Sleep well, alright? I love you, my little pet. Hi guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and this is part 4 of the Yandere Scottish Vampire Girl series. Anyways, um, I hope it was up to standard, and um, yeah, I know I haven't really done this series too much, but I'm sorry, okay? Anyways, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get a chance to know whenever I upload. Also, we do a lot of live streams here, so don't be afraid to come on in. It'd be fun to see y'all and talk to all of you. Anyway, the social medias are down below, so go to the description and you'll figure out everything else from there. Become part of the family, my amazing cucumbers, and to all those new cucumbers, welcome to their, well, welcome to our crazy family, but other than that, I love y'all so, so much, and bye-bye!